Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have found peace overseas a year after their defamation trial in Virginia, has learned through sources close to the actors that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have moved on from their legal dispute one year after the highly publicized defamation trial began. Heard and Depp were found to be liable for defamation in their lawsuits against each other by the jury during their dramatic, nationally televised trial in Virginia, which started in April of last year and ended in June. Ten million dollars in compensatory damages and five million dollars in punitive damages were given to Depp. Heard received $2 million in compensatory damages from the jury, but no punitive damages were given. Heard wrote on Instagram that she had made no admission and that the settlement is not an act of concession when she revealed in December that she and Depp had reached a settlement in their defamation lawsuit. After losing faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony became fodder for social media and entertainment, Heard wrote in her post. According to a statement made by Depp's attorneys at the time, the agreement reduced the amount of damages Heard owed him to $1 million, which he then promised to donate to charity. According to Depp's attorneys Benjamin Chu and Camille Vasquez, we are pleased to formally close the door on this painful chapter for Mr. Depp, who made clear throughout the process that his priority was about bringing the truth to light. Both actors have been spotted traveling around Europe more recently, Depp was seen in England and Heard was on the Spanish island of Mallorca. According to a person close to Depp, Jonathan started working on a new film project after the trial and he's been touring with his band. Everything is going fantastically. Heard was living on the Spanish island with her partner and daughter, Bianca, according to a close friend of hers. Aquaman 2, Heard's upcoming film, is slated for release in December. She said during her testimony last summer that she thought the bad press surrounding her breakup with Depp had significantly diminished her role in the movie. The Aquaman franchise's producing studio, Warner Bros., declined to comment at the time.